Are you struggling to really define who your ideal client is because you don't want to just say it's a male or a female. You don't want to say that they're 18 or they're 35 You want because you want to work with everyone. It's a really big challenge and it's what I want to talk about today. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy and systems. And so today it's really about the strategy side, actually knowing who your ideal client is. If you don't know who that is, it can make doing marketing really challenging. And we tend to just talk to a broad group of people instead of one specific person. And the result we want is um, an example for me, somebody tweeted after reading a blog post uh, or responded to a tweet that I um, put out around a blog post. Uh, their response was, how did you know that's what I was thinking? It's like you're inside my head. That's kind of where we need to get to. Now, if you get hung up on the whole concept of, yeah, but I can't say that I'm going to only work with 18-year-olds or I'm only going to work with 45-year-olds or I can only work with females, I want you to get rid of the um, that demographic side of things um, as far as who you're going to work with. One of the purposes of the demographics is for you to have a visual of someone in your head when you're actually creating your marketing. So for example, I have two ideal clients. I have an ideal client who is a solopreneur, tends to be about 40, 45 years of age, has two kids, a husband, is working in a service-based business um, and you know lives in Sydney, those sorts of things. Now that doesn't mean to say that I won't work with a male or that I won't work with someone who's 25. Um, it's for me when I'm creating content, that I can visualise that specific person in my head and what they're going through. Um, my other ideal client tends to be a male who owns a bricks and mortar business, again, service-based business, so there is a pattern there for me, um, but they tend to have like 20 to 50 staff um, on their team that they're trying to manage. And so different um, elements there, but the things that are really important is the psychographics. And psychographics are what are their beliefs and their values? Uh, what are the, you know, um, personality types that you tend to get? And I've uh, done a video on personality types and looking at is there a bit of a pattern with your own ideal clients and their personality type. But for me, it's really um, the interests, the um, values that they have, and the values tend to be the same across both types of ideal clients that I have. And they also match and align with my my values and my beliefs as well so that I only attract and work with the people um, that I want to work with as opposed to just any old person. And so that's what I would get, I'd get you to do as far as your ideal client. So, yes, create the um, demographics so that you have a visual in your head, but I want you then to get more to, or spend more time on the psychographics. Who are these people um, or this person? so that we can get down to one particular person um, and they can really understand who they are, how they tick, um, you know, why they think and do the things that they do because you'll find that creating marketing content just comes so much easier. Uh, I'll uh, put a resource down below for you to learn a little bit more about this, but um, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.